Monday morning and I just got word that the exhibit that I've been planning for three years um, won't be allowed to have an opening. So I'm a little bit depressed about that. But you know, rules are rules and we need to follow them. Um, so I'll be posting a little update about the art exhibit uh, here on this vlog for a change and show the whole process of how everything is put into the gallery and the opening day with me, myself, and I, and the team. So home from installing the plants uh, with Nest Plant Studio at the gallery. It's looking really nice. We're trying to make the whole place kind of look like a jungle so that in the beginning of the exhibit you see what once was. This is Danica of Nest Hi. Plants. <laughs> Setting, up. Setting up. It's gonna look cool. <laughs> I got Marco Sullivan, my partner in Studio Sullivan, and Abode by Studio Sullivan. Marco of <laughs> Studio <laughs> Sullivan for the rugs and the chairs. <laughs> put his chair design which is a really beautiful Filipino made chair with Solihia and our rug collaboration for Abode so that is also on one side of the gallery and today I spent half the day spray painting trash basically things that we should actually recycle but instead of being recycled some people throw it into well, into nature into the environment uh, which is causing many environmental issues so this is the art installation why the color gold for you to figure it out and I will explain it soon online. Again, uh, just reminding everyone, you know, it, it is difficult to, to just quit and, you know, stop using plastic all at once. I, I personally still use plastic. I'm not going to be a hypocrite and say that I don't. But I do dispose of it properly. I make sure I segregate my trash. There's a truck that picks up the plastic from our house every Wednesday and all the cartons and papers on Friday. So it's about how you dispose of the trash so that it could be properly recycled in the future. So one of my paintings, the one that actually had a bit of flack online, uh, was showing... It's basically a painting with a carpet that looks melted. And that's basically showing how nature is kind of just disappearing or melting away into the things that we are doing. And on that carpet, I also put some of my caps and plastic bottles on it, showing how people just throw things on the streets. We are just spraying some extra bottles for the installation. I'm heading back to the gallery to finish everything before the virtual press conference tomorrow. So everything is coming together. I'm excited um, to see the final look before we open to the public on March 26th. Again, I will be explaining here all the details on how we are observing safety protocols. It's um, only na GCQ at the moment, so no more than 10 people at a time with disinfections in between. Okay, so we're here um, doing the final setup. Everything's ready. All the boycotts are ready. The installation. Um, so we're gonna have a mini opening tomorrow just for family. Oh, well, there's like five people. I'm excited for everyone to come see. Also, reminding everyone, you should bring your earphones to the gallery when you visit because every painting has a QR code and every QR code will either be a song or a poem that inspired the painting. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more techy for me, but I think uh, people will appreciate this. Art is also a good way to kind of, you know, be able to, you know, have your alone time and reflect on certain things. It's kind of like a meditation. Just came from the gallery and we're done with our press launch for Kundiman. Again, the gallery will be open for the public starting tomorrow until April 24. Please book your slots online to make sure that there's not many people at the gallery at one time. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy Kundiman and please stay safe, be careful, wear a mask and your face shield. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon. See ya!